Hey, the hard, the hard part's not doing it once. The hard part's doing it long term. The hard part's being consistent. It's tough to work hard every day. It's tough. I get it. It's tough when you're seeing other people doing what, what a lot of what guys your age consider fun. But hey, here's the deal, man. When you're in your lane and you're chasing greatness, that's a different feeling than going to late on the weekends. Right? When you're in your lane and you're doing something that a lot of people wish they could commit to doing, they can't, that's a different feeling. Right? I'm not talking about winning wrestling matches, man. I'm not talking about winning wrestling matches. Like I said, them gold medals won't pay the mortgage and they ain't gonna raise your kids. They're gonna make some great stories, right? But they're gonna be in the attic collecting dust. Don't touch your shoes, let shoot them. Alright? And here's the deal: it starts with one cat. It starts with one cat that's crazy enough to set a standard and live behind it. Then that starts being contagious, right? Then you don't have one guy setting the standard in the tone every day. You got, you got two, then you got three. And it starts being contagious, then it starts being a competitive thing. Man, when we started the compounds, me and, me and a guy named Lee Roper, I talked, to him about, talked about him earlier, he's a, he's a head assistant at the University of Northern Iowa now. And it was a competition with us. It was a competition with us how good we could be as technicians and coaches and motivators, and constantly sending each other videos and articles and reading books and just trying to find out what the best CEOs and the best leaders and the, and, and the, and the, and the best coaches are doing. Whether it's football, wrestling, whatever. What's, what's, what's Nick Saban doing that's so different than everybody else? He's really good at coaching, right? But it became a competition. And then we look up five years later and it's like, holy smokes, man, we got some really good kids. But we weren't like, man, this stuff we're studying film. We're doing all this technique research and all this stuff, man. This sucks. This is like a job. It was a competition. We loved it. Because we got in that mode of we're going to be great. We got in that mode of, hey, if we get halfway to greatness, it's going to be fun. All right, we're going to impact some lives. We're going to grow as individuals. We're going to meet some amazing people. All right? and, I, and I truly believe there's two different, two different types of, of, of alphas in the room, right? Or leaders. you got leaders and you got shepherds. Okay? And the leaders, all right, it's kind of, if you do X, Y, and Z, you're good. If you don't do X, Y, and Z, there's a consequence. Right? You don't show up for work, you get fired. You don't do the last couple drills, you got sprints. You don't do X, Y, and Z, you, get, you gotta do this. There's a consequence, good or bad, right? You do all the work, maybe you win a match you're not supposed to. And then there's the shepherds, then are the emotional guys, right? You got those guys who just get around, and, man, that makes, God makes you wanna run through a brick wall, right? That guy just fires me up every day. So you got leaders and shepherds. So if you're not a good leader, and you're not outspoken, that's perfectly fine, all right? Or if you're not a good shepherd, you're not outspoken, that's perfectly fine. If you're a good leader, you can quietly set the tone. I've got Justin Ruffin, four-time state champ. He only lost like a couple matches in high school. Right? Won a lot of really big tournaments. Placed in a lot of really big tournaments. Wrestling at SIUE now. He's one of the best kids to ever wrestle in Georgia. Some of you guys might know who he is. I tried to get that kid to be a vocal leader in our room for the 10 plus years he was a part of our club. Never did it. But I tell you what, in 10 years, that kid probably missed 20 wrestling practices. Think about it. We got four practices a week. 10 years, that kid maybe missed 20 wrestling practices. Realize how consistent you have to be. And he was always there with his shoes on, ready for practice, on time. And he worked his tail off and didn't say a word. But he set the standard and the tone. If you ever looked at that kid, he was always working. You ever talk to that kid? He was always respectful. You ever asked him to help you? He was always a good teammate. Right? So you guys got to figure out who's going to be the shepherds and who's going to be the leaders in this room. And y'all need to start acting. And y'all need to start taking some pride and some accountability and some workload extra on you than just, I'm going to be a state champ this year. Nobody's going to stop me. Well, guess what? That outside world over here and over here are part of that world that needs to get you there. All right? So don't put the blinders on. All right? Don't get in the tunnel and only focus on you. All right? You 
guys got to start kind of banding together and figuring out how great you want this thing to be. All right? And then once you commit to it, you do it. And you got other people in this room that hold you accountable. And if not, you're just a wrestling team that goes to wrestling tournaments and you do wrestling moves. And then you go home and watch your singlet and then go play Xbox. All right? If you're lucky, to Xbox. But you guys got to start figuring out what you want to do. Because I'll tell you right now, the leadership skills and the shepherd skills and the things you're going to learn, even trying to be great at this thing, are going to pour over ten times into the next phase of your life. Okay? Into the next phase. And I'll tell you the most important thing that's going to happen along the way is you're going to realize how good it feels to help somebody else win at life. And that'll be one of the most addicting things you ever do in this world. One of the most important things you'll ever do in this world is, is help somebody do something they can never repay you for. I'll say that again. One of the most important things you can do while you're on this planet is help somebody or do something for somebody or help enable a situation for somebody that they can never repay you for. All right? I'm not talking about loaning five bucks. I'm talking about making an impact on them as a human being to where when they look back down the road, they're like, look, I wouldn't be where I'm at in this part of my life if it wasn't for that guy. I got a bunch of those guys in my life, man. I try to thank them as often as possible. All right? It could have been something small they did. It could have been something big they did. And that starts to be part of the legacy of this thing. You lay the framework, then you got some leaders, you got some shepherds, and then you start understanding the impact and the people around you and creating a brotherhood, sisterhood, whatever you got to do to maximize your potential and growth every single day. That's the most important thing. The 100% most important thing you'll ever do in your life is impact the world around you. If the only most important thing in your life is to win state titles right now, you're going to be heartbroken when you graduate. You're going to be heartbroken when you finish your career, whether it's college or whatever. Okay? But if you look back and think about the people that you impacted and the people that impacted you, that's why we're on this planet. We're on this planet to make a difference in other people's lives. We ain't on this planet to win wrestling matches, guys. All right? So I strongly advise you guys to evaluate the environment and the culture you guys are in, and then figure out how you're going to make an impact on this team. And figure out how you're going to make an impact on this school, and maybe you end up making an impact on this entire community. I don't even care if it ends up being something that saves the doggone ocean because you've got an issue in the local area with pollution or something. Impact in the world, in your community, and your environment, and your team, and the things that help you be great is why you're on this earth. All right? And if we all thought that way, it'd be a pretty amazing place to, to live, right? But everybody gets their blinders on, and they only worry about what's in their yard, and in their lane, and what affects their bottom line, right? And what takes time away from the stuff they like doing, and then the sacrifice for the other man ain't there. The sacrifice for the other family ain't there, right? So again, before you put your head on the pillow tonight, think about those things. How many people are you impacting around you? All right? How many people are investing in you and you're returning that investment back into them or somebody else? Right? And a lot of you guys will just go home and be like, man, that was, that was a cool concept, but nah, man. I, I like my own personal time. That's good. And then some of you guys are really going to be like, you know what? I'm going to be a leader and I'm going to set the standard and it's going to make me better. It's going to make me better as a human being. If you decide you're going to be the leader in this room and the hardest working guy in this room and the most dedicated, best teammate you could possibly be from this day forward, it doesn't matter what you do in your wrestling career. When you're done, you'll be a much better human being because of it. But that's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure as a young kid. That's a lot of pressure. Okay? Tell you, the guys that have done the most amazing things in this world, didn't, didn't look at the mountain and, and, and ask how long it was going to take to get there. Right? You got to take the first step. You got to take the first step. And lastly, I strongly advise you guys to think about the person you were when this year started and think about the person you are when this year ends. 
Everybody's so quick to get to 2021 right now. Who's ready for 2021? Everybody. Who cares? Everything gonna change, Jan 1? Nothing changes. What changes is the people we've turned into along the way. Think about how innovative we've had to be in the last six, eight months. It takes 10 years to make a vaccine. They made it six months. That's insane. Think about how different you had to live your lives just to cope. Everybody is a much more efficient, innovative version of themselves this year because of what we had to deal with. And everybody's ready to run away from it. Everybody ready to throw it behind them. Take all that good stuff. Take all that efficiency and that innovation and the growth that you've had in this short time or this weird time and figure out how you're going to maximize it tomorrow, not Jan 1. Not New Year. Every day. Maximize it every day. And if you get a couple people on board, then you can build an army. If you can build an army, doggone it, you can do a lot of amazing things. All right? And you got two guys right here that'll go to war for you. Two guys right here that'll go to war for you. I got some kids in my club some days that come from practices. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't learn one wrestling move. Their wrestling practice is our practice. I got a kid on my team, he's the only kid on his wrestling team. He doesn't have a team, he doesn't have a coach. I'm his high school wrestling coach. Imagine that, imagine you're the only guy in this room every day. People have done a lot more with a lot less. And that kid is one of the hardest working kids I got because he appreciates the fact that he can come into a room and get better in wrestling, all right? So take some inventory of your life. Understand how privileged, understand how grateful, and understand how many opportunities you have to be great. You have an amazing opportunity to be great because you got amazing support systems, all right? Whoever paid for you to be here, sit up. Whoever paid for you to be here, if they're here, go find them. Sincerely thank them for giving you an opportunity to be great today and yesterday. There's no small and big opportunities in life. Opportunity to grow is opportunity to grow. When you start weighing big and small is when you start missing out, okay? So you go pick up your phone or you go find them physically and appreciate, tell them how much you appreciate them being a, being a, a, a catalyst for you to be great. And secondly, you go spend some time tonight thinking about where you wanna go and what you wanna do with this team and this sport and the rest of your high school career. And take some accountability and some ownership about it. And do it, just do it. Just do it. Like I said, when people are telling you you're crazy, smile at them. Because you know you're doing it right. If you're doing it on another level people don't want to be a part of or can't commit to, smile. You know you're doing it right. When you're working too much and you're, you're, you're too zeroed in, you're too focused, you know you're doing it right. All right? Hey, great two days. Great two days. You guys just scratched a tiny, teeny bit of the surface of what you guys are capable of doing. All right? Like I said, look back 20 years from now and say, hey, we started that foundation. We started that foundation. We didn't win much, all right? But we started that foundation. We built that foundation. So those kids that came along 10 years later that won five state titles in a row, we helped start that and take pride in that, all right? And maybe you come back and help out with the program. Right? Maybe you invest back into this thing that, that you started the foundation of. There's no limit to it. There's no limit to it. Just get in the trenches and go. Understand? All right. Great job. Y'all stay in touch with me. Let me know how you're doing. I know I'm going to stay in touch with the coaches. Hey, but just don't, don't let this be two days where we just did some wrestling moves. Let it be two days to change a little bit of the trajectory of where you want to be as a human being down the road. All right? We don't appreciate that enough. We don't have enough gratitude for opportunities to change the trajectory of our lives and where we want to go. All right? A lot of you guys want to do great things. You just need to put the energy in the right direction. Good. Start, start forcing that energy in the right direction. Great job. Great job. Great job.